Fund Supermart, your online gateway to unit trusts. Hi, Charlie Audrey here with an update on Chinese markets on what is quite a frantic day in Hong Kong. Well, today was the first day where we've seen what I would consider some panic and forced selling in the Hong Kong marketplace. And uh, we can feel some growing anxiety in that market, and I'm sure with our clients as well. So a good time for an update. Um, many of the issues uh, that we are seeing in the Chinese equity uh, marketplace at the moment have come from Shanghai. Uh, the uh, investors there are selling, uh, the market is falling, um, and valuations in some areas are still very high. Uh, in response, the government has mobilized quite a lot of forces to try and stabilize the market. Uh, the problem they have is that a lot of the market, and particularly in the fashionable internet and tech sector, uh, is very expensive and will, will probably continue falling. Uh, part of what they've done is to suspend a lot of shares from, traded, from trading. And that has actually forced a lot of selling elsewhere into market, into shares that are open for trading. Um, that is now, today, I think, spilt into the Hong Kong marketplace, where I think we can see some forced selling, some liquidation, of positions by mainland investors in the Hong Kong marketplace and also I think by other investors who've become nervous and possibly some, uh, some redemptions as well. We always thought that the introduction of mainland investors in Hong Kong would increase volatility into the mid-cap space. Uh, I think we've been caught out by uh, just how much it's increased volatility in the big cap space uh, this week. What we're seeing though I think is a good sign uh, of, uh, of panic. Uh, what we're seeing in terms of the prices and the moves down are very uh, dramatic. And I think what we're seeing in terms of our high quality businesses that we own in the fund are very attractive share prices. In terms of portfolio activity, uh, we have been nibbling on some of our preferred names in the market. Uh, we can see actually some companies buying back shares, some directors buying, and that's always a signal that we use to buy alongside them. So that's what we're doing. Uh, but the core portfolio strategy of high quality businesses is definitely appropriate uh, and, uh, and we have uh, upside to our price targets uh, across the portfolio now, which is, uh, which is a good sign. Um, looking at stocks like Tencent, stocks like AIA, stocks like Lenovo, they're trading at valuations where one would be uh, picking up those shares. So in summary, we're seeing a lot of nervousness, a lot of retail selling in uh, the Shanghai marketplace which is now trickling through into Hong Kong. And some of the price actions we're seeing suggests uh, forced selling. And in that environment, it's always good to be uh, a selective buyer. So that's where we're, trying, where we're positioning ourselves at the moment.